Hey team, welcome back to Control Surfaces Support. My name is Eddie Gray and I am that Logic Pro guy. If you have been unable to map something to your controller, this is definitely going to be the video for you. In the past, I didn't have a MIDI controller with a jog wheel like this that controls pitch and the modulation wheel. And so this became very necessary. Let's say you want to take a vocal pitch shifted up and down using a rotary knob. <laughs> a slider or a note on and off message this is definitely the video for you so i'm going to go into midi effects and i'm going to open up probably the most powerful plugin inside of midi effects and that's modifier and one of the things that i love about this plugin is just the options available it takes a complicated subject like midi and it just condenses it in the greatest way possible now before we get started just make sure that whichever synthesizer or software instrument that you're using has the capability of pitch bending. Otherwise, this is null and void. So inside of the advanced tab in Alchemy, I'm telling this to go up and down one octave. So with that behind us, I am going to tell modifier what I want to do. Now inside of the LCD display up here, make sure that you customize it because there's a lot of useful information particularly when we're talking about MIDI activity. I'm gonna turn this knob. This is telling me that this knob is giving out a value. The value is CC70. So what we wanna do here is set MIDI CC70 to the input event. Now you could just select the value here. You could also just tell Logic to learn the MIDI. So I'll click on learn MIDI and I'll turn the rotary knob and that happens automatically and then we want to reassign it so this is the important part I'm gonna click here and I'm going to ask logic to pitch bend up now depending on how you set the scale this is going to uh, change or multiply the value so I'm just gonna keep it at 100 and that should give you a pitch bend going all the way up to an octave here we go So this could be really cool for obviously multiple things, but let's say you wanted to create some kind of riser that could be kind of cool, right? So anyway, have fun with that. Assigning the pitch band parameter to either rotary knob, slider, note on and off message. We're going to do the same thing with modulation. Uh, so this time instead of this rotary knob i'll go over to this one if we look at the top in the lcd you can see that the value is 71. so this time i'm actually going to select it from the menu here of all the midi cc values or what i like to call the midi script this time we're going to reassign this to where is modulation right here okay now something to note depending on your soft synth this is going to vary so this preset pads 1980 has the modulation assigned to the cutoff. So this is something that you may have to do yourself or if you're just a logic geek like me, you can just rely on some of these presets to do it for you. With that being said, I'm going to control the filter cutoff. So here it is all the way open. So let's move away from harmony, melody, and let's get into rhythm. There are times where you want to change the velocity value of, let's say, a hi-hat or a snare. So let's check out this beat really quick. So maybe we can play something on the drums, and it might sound, I don't know, very machine-like, something like this. And maybe you want to create some, some variety, some dynamics through that process. 
again going back to the great modifier here we're going to tell logic that we want to control the velocity using another one of these rotary knobs so this time i'll take midi cc value 72 and so i will just learn that okay that's been assigned fantastic and now i am going to assign that to velocity and so now i should have some dynamics here with these hi-hats all right let's record that in Make sure you quantize. I'll click on the region itself, hit Q, hit P, just to double check my work. Everything looks okay. Let's listen. All right, you get my drift. Guys, pay attention to the modifier. This is a beast of a plugin. Really incredible what you could do by just touching this thing once two or three times. Uh, I personally like to set up user presets here so I don't always have to do this over and over again. And I do this per controller. So here I have sustain on the launch pad. I've got some uh, settings here for my circuit controller, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. Listen, I'm seeking to learn as much as I can. So if any of you out there have some information in regards to control surfaces or what have you, please let me know. I am doing my best to learn this program, to learn all the ins and outs, and uh, it feels great to be able to share it with you. You guys got anything back for me, go ahead, throw it my way. Thank you for the opportunity to work with you, to serve, and let's keep going up. All right, thank you so much. Cheers.